Meteorologist Colleen Campbell. Nice tool to have, especially, you know, so many times when we have these major hurricanes, mm -hmm. it is people who need to be rescued. So when technology can help, that's great. Yes, I love that. And I want to remind everybody that Although I don't want to remind you, but yeah, we're coming up on the uh, one year anniversary of Milton and Helene, Helene and Milton, I should say Helene was first Helene being the end of September and Milton being early October. So this is the time of year when we are most active with the tropics. For now, we're looking OK. We have tropical storm Gabrielle that is still out there trying to hold together. Gabrielle's holding on for dear life here. We are still getting some convection blowing off from the system. Notice how elongated it is. It's not that tight circulation. When we look closer to the surface, you see those lighter colored clouds, the grays, the whites. That's looking closer to the surface. We still have that circulation there. It is, of course, still a tropical storm, but it will remain a tropical storm up through the weekend until at least Monday. And I'll tell you why. It's encountering a little bit of wind shear as well as uh, some Saharan dust just a little bit. It's going to outrun the dust and the wind shear will try to lighten up so it could form into a category one hurricane, but we weren't aren't looking that in for that until Monday. Uh, winds are at 50 miles per hour. Pressure not really impressive. It is the storm did slow down. It's moving at the west northwest 15 miles per hour. Yesterday it was moving around 20 miles per hour. Here's the latest cone that we have here again going to stay as a tropical storm as we move through the weekend. Here we are Monday 9 a.m. Bermuda is right there. Now the latest track shows a trend of this recurving, which we'd like to see. It's been showing that trend of recurving, but curving away from Bermuda, just missing it to the east. We want to see that. We want this system to be east of Bermuda because that means less worse weather for Bermuda. Now it is staying far away from the states, whereas other systems like Aaron, Aaron threaded the needle and was on the west side of Bermuda and on the eastern side of the US coast. So this will not be the case for uh, Gabrielle. Here's the spaghetti models to show you that again, better agreement that we're seeing here. The models are clustered tighter together. Yes, they do start to spread out as Gabrielle would move across the pond. But again, that's staying far away from land. So this current forecast, I'm liking it. Looks great, right? What else do we have going on in the tropics? Well, we have a couple waves that we're keeping our eye on. One that's merging, emerging off the coast of Africa right now. You do see a lot of storms off the coast there currently. And we also have this little cluster right here. So I'm interested in this because the National Hurricane Center had two areas tagged yesterday. They dropped it down to just one area. So what this means is we could have development anywhere in this yellow circle. We will keep our eye on it. Probability for that right now is low. Back here at home, we